Unfortunately, as good as it might be to multitask, this can seriously burn through your FPS, especially if your device is running near its limit on the game alone. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, I'm your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. So excited. So, season three has been really darn fun so far. Yes, I said the word darn. That is actually one of my favorite words. But there's one issue holding a few of us back from having quite as much fun as we'd like, and that's lag. Whew, FPF drops, stutters, high ping, you name it, man. People have it. So, in this video, we're gonna be going over a bunch of different methods that you can use to reduce lag. Get better FPS, less input lag, and so many more performance improvements that's really gonna turn your gameplay from a crappy, stuttery mess into a sweet, buttery smooth experience no matter what platform you play on and real quick guys before we start i got a question for you all right how much fps and ping do you get in fortnite and how does that impact your gameplay let me know your comments down below all right guys it's about that time ladies and gentlemen around the world it's time to scream this out come on it's time to sit back come on bunch of crunch army relax and get some of my favorite candy what is that y'all it's that bunch of crunch Oh, still, still. Let's get this going. All right, guys. So the first tip in this video is a secret trick found by Reddit user U slash Snuffy. All right, we're not gonna go too in depth on this one just because it's pretty complicated. But basically, the trick is to turn both multi-threaded rendering on and textures on the highest option. All right, this basically allows the multi-threaded rendering to be kicked into action more effectively and will shoot your FPS straight up. The textures being on a high setting essentially bumps the multi-threaded rendering to do more faster. And really, instead of just having its ups and downs, the rendering will stay more consistent. All right, so to put it more simply, like this change allows your PC to run more efficiently and use its power to its full potential to give you the highest FPS and quality that you can get. So if you have these two options in your settings, be sure to try this out like immediately because it's gonna make a massive difference in the quality of your game, all right? Thank you once again to my boy, Snuffy. So the next thing in this video is exclusively for PC players, all right? But if you're on another platform, don't worry guys, we got some helpful stuff for you later in this video, so you, you better not leave nowhere, all right? Don't go nowhere, stay here. All right, the first tip on this list is a simple little program that helps reduce your input lag, all right? Which is named Timer Resolution. This program has been shown in the past, but honestly, it's so helpful that we wanted to make sure everyone knows about it. Essentially, what this program does is it changes the default input delay for Windows, which lowers the amount of time it takes for your actions on your keyboard and mouse or controller to actually go through. It is so simple and honestly makes a pretty big difference. And best of all, it's not, you know, some crazy process. It, it just takes a simple download and a click whenever you start up your game to play. First off, to download timer resolution, head to the website www.lucashale.com slash timer resolution and simply scroll down a bit until you see the timer resolution dot zip button so this is a free option so you won't have to pay anything to get it right also if you don't have winrar installed already go ahead and just get that as well at the website rarlab.com so you can just do the rest of the process it's pretty easy all you have to do is go to rarlab.com slash download dot htm and download the one that fits your system Okay, when you get the timer resolution downloaded, drag it into your desktop, right click on the desktop icon, and then click extract here. Then you're gonna see this fancy little clock icon on your desktop, which is the timer resolution app. Then simply just head into the app, press the maximum button, and keep the app open while you play. Also, you can delete the file with the book icon on your desktop as well, as that's really not needed anymore. All you gotta do now is start up the app and click maximum whenever you play Fortnite, and it'll lower your input lag all on its own with nothing else needed on your end. Cool. All right, next up is something that we've shown before in other videos, but this is seriously something that needs to be done, and that's a virus scan, especially if you wandered into some suspicious parts of the internet or downloaded some things you weren't 100% sure about. Some viruses or malware can seriously slow down your computer and result in much lower FPS, more input lag, and stutters. 
Doing a virus scan is a really easy process and it really shouldn't take too long. We recommend using Malwarebytes for your virus scan as it's one of the most trusted pieces of software out there. All you need to do is just head to Malwarebytes.com as shown on the screen, click the free download button and go through the rest of the installation process until you come to this screen. From here, and I mean like right here, simply click the big scan button and let it run. The scan goes through five stages, checking for updates, scanning memory, scanning startup items, scanning registry, and scanning file system. The last step should be the one that takes the longest, but the others can spot some things as well. So the scan might take a while depending on how strong your PC is. So this time is the perfect opportunity to check out our website, proguys.com, where you can find exclusive courses and guides from pro players, live classes from some of the top content creators and coaches in the game. Also, man, 24 seven on demand coaching from real pro players to help you reach the next level. So while your virus scan is running, go check out our website. Trust me, you're not going to regret it. Oh, and also get some bunch of crunch. That's good too. Once your scan ends, one of two situations will have happened, all right? Either there's nothing bad in your PC, in which case that's awesome, or there are some viruses or issues, all right? If the second scenario is the case, then it should give you the option to quarantine the files and it should clear everything up okay so another thing that might be worth looking into is the scan scheduler which is also a part of the malware bytes app this is a paid option but if you're looking to consistently make sure your pc is clean and running properly then it's absolutely worth considering So from this point in the video, we're going to be going over some tips that work for console and mobile as well. Hey, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Love you guys, all right? So next up in this video is an issue so many people have on their device that makes their FPS absolute crap. Did I say crap? Yeah, I sure did, because it is. And that's having too much storage taken up. Okay, so as a general rule, you should try to have at least 25% of your hard drive space open so your computer runs at optimal speed. All right, so to check your storage on PC, yeah, still talking about PC real quick, simply head into your file explorer and click on this PC, which should be somewhere in the scroll box. Scroll down on this page and you're gonna see your storage, all right? If your storage is less than 20 to 25% free, then you can just simply delete some files on your drive to clear up that space and let everything run better. If you have multiple drives on your PC, then just make sure all of them have enough storage open all right for console your storage should be located in your settings menu for both ps4 and xbox and it should be similar for switch as well if you're struggling with storage go ahead and delete some games you don't really play or possibly some recordings or videos you don't really need on mobile your storage numbers are also located in your setting and you could just clear up some storage by deleting unused apps which most of us have a lot of and getting rid of some pictures and videos as well that you really don't need anymore all right the biggest storage culprits on pretty much every platform that you can play on are typically large games and videos so look around figure out what's hacking all your space and get rid of it so your device can not only run better as a whole but also produce higher fps and less stutters this is relevant for all platforms, whether you play on mobile, console, or PC, and it's to turn off any programs running in the background. A lot of PC players tend to run a lot of things at once. Discord, Spotify, maybe Twitch or Twitter, or an amazing Pro Guys YouTube video. <laughs> But unfortunately, as good as it might be to multitask, this can seriously burn through your FPS, especially if your device is running near its limit on the game alone. The same goes for console. I mean, you may have other programs like Netflix or YouTube running behind your back while you're playing or even an empty party, which uses a bit of your internet connection, which might raise your ping by a few digits and possibly cause some other issues. And on mobile, if you're one of those people who closes apps when you're done with them, but you don't fully close them, then your FPS is probably gonna be down the drain. On iOS, double click your home button. If your screen does a sort of a shake or only pops up, you know, with one app on the screen, then you're fine. If it pops up with a bunch of different apps side by side, then simply swipe them up to fully close them and watch your FPS numbers shoot into the stars. For you PC players out there, if you run other programs like Spotify, Google Chrome, or Discord, make sure that you turn their respective hardware acceleration settings off. These settings are pretty good for general use, but when it comes to gaming, they're a big no-no. The hardware acceleration setting for Chrome is located in your Chrome settings under the advanced tab and under system. 
it should say use hardware acceleration when available and you could just take it off for discord you can find the setting in your settings menu under the appearance tab simply scroll down on this page and you're going to see it at the bottom and finally for spotify simply head into your settings scroll down and open advanced settings scroll down some more and you should see hardware acceleration under compatibility where you can just turn it off all right, so for all platforms, running programs in the background takes up your CPU, RAM, and sometimes even your GPU, which will in turn lower your FPS and possibly lower your ping as well. So be sure to run as few programs as possible while playing if your FPS and ping are struggling. And if you do run these programs, try turning off hardware acceleration as well. All right, the last thing we're gonna be covering in this video is the best in-game settings to raise your FPS. Now, this is technically for all platforms, but obviously console and mobile are extremely limited in their ability to do this since their setting menus are pretty short. For console, all right, the only real options you have are colorblind settings, motion blur, and show FPS. Your colorblind settings really don't impact your FPS, and this really goes for all platforms, but we recommend having motion blur off because it can add input lag to your gameplay, and while everything looks a bit smoother, it's really detrimental to performance. And show FPS really doesn't do much either, so you can choose to have it on or off. And for you mobile players out there, what's up guys, hope you're still there. The settings consist of your actual frame rate, which you obviously wanted at the highest, right? But if you're having FPS drops and lag, then it's possible that lowering your FPS can give you a slightly less smooth but more consistent experience. The next option is your 3D resolution, which you can just lower and get higher FPS at the expense of a bit of quality. And finally, your quality presets, which are similar to 3D resolution. The lower it is, the lower the quality is, but the higher FPS you get. And on PC, 3D resolution and pure frame rate are both there, but you also have fully customizability of your display settings. We recommend turning shadows off 100%, but the rest are all your choice, and you can just adjust them based on the FPS and performance you're getting. All right, motion blur should always stay off unless you're willing to sacrifice performance for better looks. And the multi-threaded rendering option should be on if your PC is somewhat higher in, if it's able to run, say 120 FPS or higher, and off if it can't run it. Whichever platform you're on, guys, optimizing your in-game settings as well can be, you know, super helpful in getting better FPS. Sometimes it's just a quick little setting tweak that can really give you a massive FPS boost. So take a bit of time to just fiddle around and just see what works best, all right? All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel because we got so much great stuff coming out.